my car is right over here, Doctor. Never mind the rifle. Get back to your work. What happened, Ace? The dragon plane trying to get you? Damn hell. Well, where's Dr. Trainer? Dr. Trainer? You mean you brought Peggy's father? Yes. But somebody was holding him prisoner in the Hall of Dead Kings. Laura and Wyckoff were with him when I found him. Come on. Then you were right. I thought sure you were done for. We saw the plane land and ran to get our men. And I suppose you don't know what happened to Dr. Trainer. On the contrary, we saw the plane pick him up. But do you mean the dragon's men have him? What makes you think that was a dragon plane? Well, don't you know, Dr. Bauer? Listen, Drummond, I'm sick of your insinuations. If you think that I'm in any way connected with those mysterious attacks on the Air Force, you better prove it. I haven't accused anybody yet, Dr. Bauer. But if you'll come with me over to the airport and face Henry Key, we'll have a showdown as to which of you own this gun. I'll be over. As soon as I've attended to some important matters at my camp. I hate to tell Peggy the bad news about her father. For sure of one thing, Peggy, your father is still alive. But why should the dragon want to keep Dad a prisoner? He's an archaeologist. He wouldn't harm anyone. Your father claims it's because he discovered a mountain of jade the dragon is trying to get hold of. Well, who do you really think the dragon is, Ace? There's a lot of evidence pointing to Henry Key. But well, on the other hand, Dr. Bauer certainly must have had something to do with holding your dad prisoner in the Hall of the Dead King. Sorry to make you folks move, but I gotta warm this plane up. Who's taking her out, Bill? Mr. Henry Key. Henry Key? Where is he? Well, he just telephoned from the office. Well, this is one flight that'll have to wait. I've got business with Mr. Key. Johnny. Mr. Key inside? Yes, Mr. Drummond. Old gentleman there. Old committee meeting. Thanks. I tell you, gentlemen, the sooner we get rid of Ace Drummond, the better off we will be. All he has accomplished so far is to antagonize the natives. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Mr. Key says that I have accomplished nothing today. That is not so. I have here the gun that killed the dragon's messenger. Strangely enough, it has Mr. Key's initials on it. Mr. Key informs me that he sold the gun to Dr. Bauer. Unfortunately, Dr. Bauer knows nothing about it. Dr. Bauer is coming here this afternoon and we'll have a showdown. That is, if Mr. Key is willing to forego his little trip. You see, gentlemen, more of such charges. Mr. Drummond is hinting that I am the dragon. Now, why should he? A member of this commission seeks to start international airways. Project here to all our hearts. After all, Dr. Bauer is a man of international reputation. 
And it's his word against Mr. Key. Very well, gentlemen. I shall postpone my trip. You can reach me at my quarters. Mr. Meredith, this gun is a rather important piece. I suggest that you lock it up in the safe. A good idea, gentlemen. Johnny, what does this mean? Please, Mr. Drummond, I'm fixing radio. What became of that fellow that ran in here? Fellow? Maybe I can find out where they're taking my father. 
I'll get a car. You meet me in back of the hangar. To my soul, Holy One, to do penance. Peace be with you, my son. Be poor, McCordy. Brenner's daughter and the boy are on their way to Boris' camp. They should be watched. I'll take care of it. You fool, what are you trying to do? Watch your pressure, you'll blow the thing to pieces. One of the storeroom and get those other specimens.
key to go. I'll go get something and break the lock. Thank you. 